All right, guys, this time we're doing 15 more advanced trips, not the basic stuff. We're going a little bit deeper to show you ways that you can improve the game, do super quick reloads, bunny hopping, all that jazz. Without further ado, let's roll into the video. And if you have any more advanced tips, be sure to leave a comment as usual for the people to see. How to swap weapons pretty much instantly skip the animation you with the shotties to do with whatever it is disgusting so what you do is it's pretty simple every single time you crouch you swap weapons right away you gotta do this with hold to crouch so every single time you swap weapons you just crouch real quick at the same time and it'll swap instantly like that that's a normal swap right there just to not give you the difference and then the fast one here It can give some laser burns. So what I do is crouch, hold. I have that to my mouse thumb button right here. And then I have cycle weapons right here. Now this isn't bound to my mouse wheel up. It's the other thumb button. So I press those two at the exact same time and it'll, it makes it a lot easier to do the swap. Now it is probably something that I could fix pretty soon, but you know, while it's there, you can use it if you want, if you don't want to. Fully understandable too, but people are blasting me with this stuff in game too. It, it hurts, man. It hurts. So just get the practice to it. Press those two buttons at the same time. If you have two thumb buttons, you can bind. And this is what it looks like with a shoddy. Or two, I mean. Instantly firing two rounds. If it's in the game, it's all fair game. Alright? Slam dunk. Good luck. Next up, we're going to talk about something easy to do, which is wall jumping. You slide towards your wall, hop up, hop off of it again, and you gain like a huge boost away from the wall. So you slide towards it, jump to up to it, and then jump again to back off of it. That's all. You just got to hit it with like a little bit of a curve to it. Boom, boom, gone. And it works on pretty much everything, man. So it's another thing to get the hang of and get to be a better player by knowing how to do it. Just because mobility in this game is key. Let's talk bunny hop. Bunny hop is simply when you jump around like a rabbit. It's sort of like this. Jump, jump, jump. Now why is this useful? It isn't super fast. It's not like the old school CS days with freaking... What's his name? Foon? Was that it? Something like that. Who freaking jumped around like a crazy bastard. Anyways, in this game it's good though. Still. Because you can pop healing without losing any speed or anything. So get that practice in with it. Keep spamming that jump. And because you'll become a super slow when you heal, right? If you can bunny hop and get to practice with this, you get no downtime. And you just jump around like a crazy bird. So what I do for it is bind jump to mouse wheel down. You can do it up to. It's just a lot easier because every single time you scroll like this. It's going to notice every single time that you do that, right? It's one click per se. Each like individual scroll you do that's like 10 clicks every time you freaking scroll that bastard whereas spacebar is like tap 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 so it's a lot easier to get used to and get good with you get to practice just keep on jumping around like a crazy bird and you'll get the hang of it in no time it is really not that hard let's go left to right to left to right and keep jumping like a little birdie and you'll get the hang of it man good luck have fun hopping around like a doofus to gain extra distance going from the balloon, look up, hold your right click to free look as you hover over a mountainside or something a hill to gain that boost. Let go again, reset, do it one more time, hovering over some kind of hill where you're about to drop down. Keep doing it, you'll keep gliding further and further and get a lot more distance. Now, I didn't get the full distance here, but you can see Acolyte going even further than I did there, and that was from one balloon. Guns in this game have spray patterns, so... Just like to note, they're almost exactly identical every time you shoot them. So you can kind of get a feel for them, get to practice with them, and you'll become better and better over time with your favorite gun. The more you notice it, the more it'll be easier to control when you gotta get that spray down. So you see Spitfire 2, it has a lot of rounds in it. Even without the extended mag, you can see it does have a pattern here. It's gonna do almost the exact same pattern. There you go. Keep practicing. Something that people don't think about is that you can look uphill while sliding. And shoot as well. I never really thought about it until I started thinking about these tips and whatnot. It's just... 
it doesn't seem like something you do, right? Because you're like, uh oh, I got to get away from the enemy. But you can easily just turn around while you're sliding down because you're going to go the same speed downhill. So just keep blasting rounds towards your enemies that you get towards safety. Pop them off and kill them. Get them. See, what most people do is when they grapple, they just hook onto it and... All right, I'm here. You want to do it when you gain the speed and just keep on flying. Like that. Now we just fly down, we can slide, jump, slide, keep on going. We're flying. So by getting that freaking wave off and just keep on building speed, then you get the maximum speed as you let go and you just keep on flying past it. And then we go sliding right side of it instead of directly at it. Not a lot of people know this, but you can actually hop up and peek over ledges like this. Hop up, just stop right at the end, let go of everything, and you can peek about. Doesn't matter how tall it is, how short it is, if you can reach the top of it, just stop touching anything, and you're good to just grab it and chill out for a second. Just see here, I'm gonna mess it up, and then do it one more time. Bam. Hello, and goodbye. People have been telling me time after time that you can climb higher if you have your weapon holstered. This is not true. Look at this. Every time we're gonna pop out with a weapon here. Exactly the same. Gonna do it with a weapon one more time. Right where it like cuts off and then holster it. Exactly the same. So the next one is a bonus. When you boot up Apex Legends, you have this beautiful loading screen coming in. Now, we want to get rid of that. Now, this one isn't really a pro tip to come up MLG Pro Gamer. What you do is you open up your game here in Origin, right click it, Game Properties, head into Advanced Launch Options, and into the line No Vid. This little dash here. Save that, boot up the game again, and see how fast it goes. Now, you skip that little loading screen, and we are already in, ready to go. I mean, we've seen it a thousand times. We're okay, we're ready to game. Let's get to it. Caustic smelly poo poo bombs here can be used to block doors. Now this can be used defensively or really annoyingly like this. So the only way to get in now is to punch the door down. Same way you can use it to trap opponents in small rooms sort of like this one. Where the only way for an opponent to get in and out is to shoot it. They're stuck. Well they can't even get out because they can't even open the door from this side. Oh and another one you can pick up his traps again if you misplace it by pressing E. So there's a little extra, too. Hunk it up, pick it up, slam dunk, back. Sliding in water is super slow. But if you start from, say, this little grass hill thing, rock, whatever, and slide into the water, you go at full speed. Regardless of you being in the water for however how long, it's just normal speed. But if you start your slide in the water, you will get punished. Now, sliding is a really good thing. Just a bonus tip here. You can slide and then heal, too. Meaning that you'll go super fast while healing. Sort of like when we bunny hop around and heal, you can also do the sliding and heal on top of that. Movement is key. Something super annoying that you should get used to is if you're knocked, you might as well annoy your opponent with a door if you're able to. Because you can't open and close them while being knocked. So stuff like this can happen. I lose my poop. I end up like, alright, I'll try to kick it down and bam, the teammate takes me out. There you go. Something to keep in the back of your head when you get knocked. You're not out of the game just yet. Alright, so this one is kind of lol, and for the memes, you can take Gibraltar's shield here and place it on top of Lifeline's heal bot. And this way, you can kind of push it around into cover if you so wish, down from buildings too. It's kind of weird, it's kind of funky, but it is something to do. It's a little bit of a move-in protection shield. You see very fun memes in games. Very good, very good. And rip the heal bot. That's something to do. Arc stars are dope, and one thing to note about them is that you can stick them to teammates too. Meaning your teammates will not take any damage, but they will be a little bit of concussed. But then you can send them into enemy teams, blast them up right in that team and make a ton of damage and even make some spicy plays. Alright everyone, that wraps it up for this one. I hope you learned something today. I hope you picked up something. Um, If you did, drop a like, drop a sub, join the club. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.
Right on me. Really low. Insta res. Insta res. Insta res. Oh, that's you resing? Yes, boy. Oh, right down here. Wee. Oh, in the house. In the house. Seems flat. I was wrong. Yet again. I'm not resing. I'm not healing. Oh, okay. Hey, what a shot, dude. Oof. Nice shot. The mastiff.